Okay, when it comes to zakah, giving zakah abroad, is it better to give to charities here in the UK or to give to charities abroad? That's a, a general question, Chef. Yeah. A, a okay. general question. See, yeah. Uh, now, zakah, mm. yeah, zakah. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa wa sahbihi wa sallam said to Mu'ad radiyallahu ta'ala anhu when he was instructing him, okay, how to give zakah when Mu'ad traveled to Yemen. Mm -hmm. He said, فَأَعْلِمْهُمْ he said, uh, uh, invite them to believe in Allah. If, he, they, if they accepted that, invite them to perform the salah. If they accepted that, invite them to give the zakah. The zakah, it is an amount of charity taken from their poor people, uh, sorry, taken from their rich people to be mm. given to their poor people. That's right. Okay. So the scholar said, it is better to give your zakah, okay, where you live. Yeah. Where you live doesn't mean in your political country. You okay. mean by national boundaries? Uh, yeah, I don't mean by I don't mean by national boundaries. I mean the people around you locally. Okay. So, for example, if you are living in London, give it in London. If you are living in Manchester, give it in Manchester. If you are living in France, in Paris, give it to Paris. Okay, to people there. If you are living in Egypt, in Cairo, giving it to uh, the people in Cairo and so on. This is the general theme. That is better. However, all of them agree that it you if you transfer the zakah hmm. to another country because of a valid reason, then that is better. There is no problem with that whatsoever. All the scholars agreed to that. For example, they said that if you have some far relatives mm -hmm. living abroad, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, then it might be better that you give it to your far relatives uh, who are living abroad. Yep. Now, the scholars also said that if there is a famine, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, in another country or a desperate situation in another country, and in your country that uh, famine is not there or that desperate situation is not there, then maybe consider it to give it to what? To other countries. Sometimes you must be obliged to transfer your zakah. How, how? If in your country, okay, people generally speaking are, you know, surviving. Yeah? yeah. But in other countries, people are dying, you know, dying mm -hmm. because they do not find the basics. Yeah? Then, no, in this case, you must help the other people who are dying in other countries, even if you need to transfer your zakah, okay? And, and to be honest with you, this is the situation now. I believe that, generally speaking, people in Europe, yeah, mm -hmm. people in Britain, for example, Muslims in Britain, they are okay. Maybe there are some poor people, but they are still, they are able to find a shelter above their heads, they are able to find some food. They are able to find some clothes, etc. Yeah, <laughs> but we all know, yeah, the situation in Syria. Yeah, people in 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 Syria, in some country, in some cities in Syria, they were eating dead flesh. Yeah, there. I don't know whether this is still happening, but they were dying, literally dying, because they could not find food. Last year, I don't know about this year, Mukhayyam al Yarmouk in Syria, yeah, they said every day a few people die because of lack of food or medicine in Mukhayyam al Yarmouk next to Damascus. This year, they described the situation in Mukhayyam al Yarmouk to be really terrible, okay? Forget about Syria. Now, Gaza is under siege, yeah? And people in Gaza, they are really suffering. And there are reports from Gazan people that they are unable to find enough sustenance, enough medication. Okay, leave Gaza. Yeah, there are some areas in... Okay, leave all of this. What about Yemen? They say people now, the, the, the reports... This is the worst humanitarian crisis. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they said this is the worst humanitarian crisis that the world have seen in the last, I don't know, 30, 40 so, years. Okay, this is the car. Okay. That's why, I see, from another perspective, okay, take the following example. 
They said, okay, you have two people. Mm -hmm. One person is literally dying if you do not buy him or her a food from your zakah. Literally dying. And there is another person who is you no know, surviving, yes, but he is weak. Who is surviving? Mm -hmm. So we have two people. One is dying and another person is surviving but he is weak. Which one you give zakah to? The one who's just going to die, the one who's right there, right why, in front of you. Why? Because they may pass away. They're most in need, basically. Exactly. Mm. Are we allowed to give the weak person, yeah, and to let the other person die? Impossible. No one would say this. Why? Because we are allowed a person to die while we could have saved him. And we allowed a Muslim to die while we could have saved him. Okay, imagine another scenario. We have a situation like the Sahara Desert. Yeah. yeah? People, young people are losing their eyesight. Yeah. The, 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 the tablet, mm. okay, uh, the tablet is, uh, they, they said it's just 10p, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, it might save their eyesight. And on the other side, uh, we have there people have some clothes, but not suitable clothes. They're not clothed well or well. suitable, they're very poor, yeah. just about. Just religion. about covering their aura, or even forget about covering their aura. They don't have clothes to cover their aura. But those children will lose their eyesight. Yeah? They need, they need to buy just one pound to, to buy the basic, not food, but medicine to save their eyesight. And the other people, they need money to clothe them, themselves. Which one is deserving the zakah? or is more deserving the zakah? The one, the child, the child. The child who is losing his eyesight. eyesight yeah. This is not an emotional discussion. Yeah. This is a rational discussion based on Quran and Sunnah. Because, yeah, Allah Jalla Ala, first of all, Allah Jalla Ala listed the, those who are eligible to zakah mm -hmm. based on what? The level of their need. That's why Allah Jalla Ala started with what? Al-Fuqara, followed by the Masakin, because Al-Fuqara is in more need than the Masakin. Okay, Sheikh, I think we've done a lot of okay. questions on Zakah. Yeah. Um, got some more later on, but we'll, yes. we'll try to move on. Okay, yeah. Jazakallah Khair.